In this video I'm going to work out an individual derivative problem. So we will start here with our function f of x equals 3x minus 5 cosine pi x squared. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at this expression right here and I'm going to rewrite it so that it's a little more clear there of what we're taking the cosine of. So in a rewrite I will still have f of x equals 3x minus 5 cosine and then I'm just going to do power raised to a power on both of those so we'll have a pi squared x squared. All right, so that we clearly have the inside part of our function here. We're taking the cosine of something right here. Now, I can take a look at this expression. I can take the derivative of the outside of function, which is cosine, and the inside function, which is pi squared x squared. All right, so at this point, I am now starting my derivative, so f prime of x. All right, now when I take the derivative there of the 3x, that's just going to go to a 3. All right. Now, it's going to be minus everything I have to the right here. So just in case this gets really long, I'm going to insert an extra piece of parentheses there. That 5 is just going to stay there. All right, now, derivative of cosine is going to be a negative sine, leaving that inside alone, so pi squared x squared, and then times d dx times the derivative of whatever's on the inside, so pi squared x squared. And then close that set of parentheses. All of this is multiplication. I did not have a plus or minus in there, um, of which case that minus would have made a big difference there. Okay, now I still have one derivative left here. So continuing to work here, everything up to that point will be the same. So I'll have a 5 times that negative sign pi squared, x squared. All right, now taking the derivative of this, pi squared is just like any other number there in front. So I'm just going to do power rule there, pull that 2 down in front. So it's going to be a 2 pi squared and then x. Close that set of parentheses. All right, now I'm going to clean this up as much as I possibly can here. We've got a 2 <coughs> and a pi squared and a 5. All right, which I can all pull out in front of this term. And then we've got a minus and a minus right there, which is going to make it go to a plus. So I'm going to have a 3 plus 2 times 5 is 10 with that pi squared. So 10 pi squared. And then let's go ahead and pull the x out in front as well. And then sine of the pi squared, x squared. All right, and then... That's perfectly fine to leave as an answer right like that. If you would want to make this look more like that original function, you could go ahead and pull that 2 back out, giving your final derivative being a 3 plus 10 pi squared x sine pi x squared. So really, either one of those would work. All right, so just uh, one straightforward derivative there with a trig function and chain rule and a little rewrite before you start actually calculating that derivative. Definitely thanks for watching, and don't forget to share with your friends. Thanks.